cubán, cubán. Uy, me sigue matando cubán. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Jerry from the Stogie Review, coming to you with another video cigar review. Uh, before uh, I get started with my review, uh, this is my first review for 2007, and I just want to take a minute to wish everyone out there uh, a happy new year. Uh, I hope 2007 proves just as fruitful as 2006 was for you. Uh, and uh, I want to thank everybody for watching for their continued support of the stogieview.com. I also need to thank my buddy Walt. Walt was kind enough to uh, send me a couple items uh, for the holidays and uh, one of those items happens to be a stinky cigar ashtray. I, I, I don't have one um, and I understand you're not a true smoker. You're not a smoker unless you unless you have one of these bad boys so uh, uh, thank you to my buddy Walt. Uh, I'm actually going to use it tonight for the first time and the cigar that I'm going to use to uh, to baptize it is a cigar that I'm actually surprised uh, um, that we haven't reviewed before. You know, we're, we've been at this now for nine, ten months now, and and uh, it's really one of my favorite cigars. And I'm I'm really surprised that I haven't uh, haven't got around to to smoking it yet. Um, the cigar tonight is going to be the Toro sized Monte Cristo White Label. Uh, it's Toro sized. It comes in at uh, six inches long with a 54-inch ring gauge. It has an Ecuadorian uh, wrapper, uh, uh, Nicaraguan filler, uh, Nicaraguan binder, and a two-country filler from the Dominican and Nicaraguan. And MSRP is for about nine to ten dollars, um, uh, uh, depending on, of course, where you're at and applicable taxes. Um, for those of you who know me in real life. Uh, you know, when I was studying and taking exams for my uh, MCSC for work, you know, I'd always, uh, uh, after I passed an exam, uh, I would always go down to my local JR Cigars in D.C. It's off of uh, 17th and L Street, Northwest, uh, off of Connecticut Avenue. Or if you're taking the metro, it's right down the street off the Farragut North metro line. Um, but uh, the Monte Cristo White Label was always my uh, little mini pat on the back cigar. Um, after I pass an exam, so uh, and I'm looking around and I'm noticing that I don't, I'm not really prepared for this review. I don't have my cutter or my my lighter anywhere in sight. Um, so give me a minute. Uh, let me track down my cutting utensil and ignition, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, all right, I am back, and as you can see, I have cut, lighted, and have started enjoying. My Monte Cristo White, the Toro size. Uh, like I said, you know, this is a uh, one of my favorite smokes. I, I don't agree with the price point. It comes nowhere near near the the ten dollar price tag that it cost me to pick a single up over at my JR Cigars. I, I think they're, for the price are much. There are many more uh, 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 more bang for your buck cigars out there. Uh, when you think of price, the cigars in the ten dollar price range, I, I don't think the I, I don't think it. I don't think the white belongs in that price range. I see it more as a five to seven dollar cigar, uh, but then again, you know, it's got that Monte Cristo name to it. So, uh, like uh, like other cigars, like Macanudo and, and Romeo Julietas, you're 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 paying for the name, um, unfortunately, and not the cigar. Uh, but that's just my opinion. Um, now. I really don't know what to do because we've gotten a lot of comments. Some people say they want the videos longer uh, for us to do a little more small talk and talk about ourselves, what we've been up to, blah, blah. Other people have, you know, we've gotten other comments that said you know, keep it as short as possible. So I don't know what really what to do. Um, I don't know. I mean, when we started off, we meant to keep it between five to seven minutes. Uh, but, I mean, you know, you're taking a, uh, you're smoking a cigar that takes you an hour, an hour, 15 minutes on up and up. To smoke, it's kind of hard to condense a review in the five to seven minutes. So I apologize if this one goes on for uh, more than that. Uh, uh, initial flavors of the Monte Cristo White. Um, it's a nice toasty, uh, uh, a nutty toasty, fla toasty flavor to it. Uh, nothing that's very, nothing overwhelming. It's definitely a, a medium-bodied cigar. Uh, it goes great with a, a nice cup of coffee. Uh, in the morning or in the mid-afternoon. Um, 
or even I guess I, I mean I, I I enjoy it any time of day. Uh, I'm a coffee drinker and I drink coffee throughout the day, so uh, that's usually my main beverage when I uh, when I smoke. So it's a, I can tell you it's definitely a, a, the perfect uh, companion for a nice cup of Joe. Uh, but you definitely get the nice a, a nice nutty toasty flavor, uh, medium my, medium body cigar. Uh, nothing's gonna overwhelm you or make you feel dizzy or, or anything like that. It's a very easy smoke. Uh, along with the Monte Cristo name, you get pretty solid construction. It's burning pretty nicely. So I'm gonna sit back, uh, enjoy my cigar for a little bit, and uh, I'll come back and uh, uh, I'll talk about my New Year. Uh, talk to you in a bit. All right, I am back, and uh, my cigar, my Monte Cristo White, is going strong. I'm about an inch or so into it. It's starting to develop a nice little peppery uh, undertone to it. Nothing significant, but it's significant enough to where you can where you can taste it. Uh, for the most part, you still got that uh, toasty, nutty flavor um, that I talked about earlier. Um, Aroma-wise, you're looking at a nice floral, uh, floral aroma that I hope uh, <laughs> the wife won't get too mad at when she uh, starts to smell it. Um, New Year's. Uh, uh, my wife and I were expecting our our first child uh, July thirty first August first time frame. So and we're both turning uh, we're, we're both turning thirty in two thousand seven, and a bunch of our friends that we went to school with are turning thirty uh, in two thousand seven as well. So we thought, you know, hey, you know, what a great way to celebrate them! Have one big blast in Vegas to ring in the new year. So uh, we went to Vegas. My wife and I had been there previously. We've been there maybe four or five times before. Uh, we stayed at the uh, uh, MG, not MGM Grand, uh, the other casino there on the strip that begins with the M. Uh, it's going to come to me in a second. Uh, across from the Venetian, towards the Wind, uh, and Treasure Island, uh, the Mirage. You know, it's got yeah, the Mirage, Mirage, right? Mirage is the one that's got the lot, the tig the white tigers that mauled that dude. Anyways, so we stayed at the Mirage, which was my first time staying there. We normally stay at Paris, but Mirage is a beautiful hotel as well. Um, so we went there with a bunch of friends, uh, ate a lot of food, the, all the different buffets. Bellagio buffet was just, just insane, um, and uh, so we had a had a great time there. Went to Casa Fuente, uh, picked up a couple Casa Fuente smokes, and had a cup of coffee there. And just uh, while the wife did some shopping, I kind of just uh, hung out there in the forums in at Casa Fuente. Um, so, you know, New Year's has been great, started off great so far too, now we got NFL football, uh, and I'm a Redskin fan, so being a Redskin fan, there's nothing better than a Redskin win or a Cowboys loss. Fortunately, the Redskins didn't make it into playoffs, so, uh, it was great to watch the Tony fumbling, bumbling Romo choke on that hole, uh, that would have beat, that would have gave them the win over Seattle, so it was nice to see Seattle, uh, pick up the win there and see the Cowboys go crying home and seeing Romo on the ground there. Like, you couldn't believe what happened. Um, and then today, uh, I'm not a big, even though I don't like either the Giants or the Eagles, I'm not a big Manning fan. I don't like either Peyton or, or Eli. I, don't know. I think they come off to, like, their NFL royalty or something. Uh, but that's just my opinion. But it was good to see uh, Philadelphia discard the Giants, and now uh, hopefully the Saints can march on through and, and get the Eagles out of there. Uh, so that's basically my new year. Uh, Vegas was great so far. The NFL playoffs have been good to me and my wallet. Um, so that's about it. But uh, I'm going to continue to smoke my Monte Cristo White, and uh, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, I am back. As you can see, I'm about a little past halfway uh, smoking my Taurus Ice Monte Cristo White. Uh, so I want to keep this review, uh, don't want this review to get too long, so I'm going to sum everything up here. Basically, if you're a coffee lover, uh, you're definitely going to enjoy the Monte Cristo White, um, uh, with your cup of coffee. Uh, if you enjoy a coffee like I do any time of day, uh, the Monte Cristo White will become your, can be smoked any time of day to fit, and it'll fit right in with your, with your palate. Um, um, but... Uh, my main beef, and pretty much my only beef, is like I said earlier, is uh, is the price point. I mean, it's a it's a really good 
flavor profile with its toasty nuttiness and a slight hints of, of peppery spiciness to it, but for the most part, the toasty nuttiness flavor of it is, is, is a great flavor. Uh, and for a, a medium by a scar, you get a good depth of that toastiness and, and nutty flavors. Uh, so, I mean, you get a solid cigar, it's just I, I, I don't see where it's a $10 cigar. And, and for that reason, because of that $10 price tag, I usually keep the uh, Monte Cristo White on the shelf for, for some kind of special event or, 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 or significant accomplishment um, or as the occasional treat to myself. Um, but... Uh, I definitely recommend coffee uh, with your Monte Cristo White. I'm not sure what else. Uh, I'm not the connoisseur like Walt is with beers and stuff. Uh, I, I mainly drink coffee with my cigars anyway, so take that for what it's worth. Anyways, uh, if you haven't tried the Monte Cristo White and you have $10 sitting around in your pocket, uh, you might not want to <laughs> spend it on it, but uh, it, it's worth a try if you're doing some kind of... Uh, cigar pass or pay it for or make a wish pay it for type thing. Um, other than that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video, uh, continue and enjoy the rest of my wine and crystal white. Again, I want to wish everybody, everybody a happy new year. I hope 2007 uh, brings you even better things than 2006 did. And until next time, Francais. Oui, parlez français. 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 Oui, parl